Pope Francis asked for prayers for peace in Myanmar or Burma. Pregare per la pace. Per il Myanmar. On Sunday, the Holy Father invited faithful to dedicate one Hail Mary of the Rosary each day for the conflicted country. His appeal comes as Myanmar's security forces open fire on protesters against military rule. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn joins us now. Colin, great to see you. Uh, so tell us, what more did Pope Francis have to say? Good evening, Tracy. Well, the issue of peace in Myanmar, also known as Burma, is particularly close to Pope Francis's heart. And speaking to the faithful, he said, each one of us turns to our mother when we are in need or in difficulty. He said we must pray that our mother in heaven may speak to the hearts of those who are responsible for the violence in Myanmar to find the courage to take the path of solidarity, reconciliation and peace. Now, Myanmar has a complicated history with democracy, and this isn't the first time that the military have seized power. But on February the 1st, the military announced a one-year state of emergency in the country. They overthrew its leader, Aung San Suu Kyi, and in her place, they announced Ming Ang Long, the leader of the military, as the head of state. Armed soldiers then took to the streets, the internet was cut out in parts of the country, social media was blocked, and gatherings of more than five people were banned. Now, the reason the military overthrew the government is that they say the general elections which took place last November were rigged and that there was, quote, terrible fraud, but they've never been able to provide any proof to back up their claims. The United Nations and other international groups have said that this is simply a grab for power by the military, which is unjustified and undemocratic. Colin, what is the situation uh, right now at this moment in the country? Well, the people of Myanmar have been out in droves protesting since the military took power. But of course, Tracy, this comes with its dangers. And so far, over 750 people, sadly, have been killed and thousands more imprisoned as the army cracked down on pro-democracy protests. The military has taken political prisoners too, including the country's president, who we mentioned. They accuse her of importing illegal communication equipment, which were six walkie-talkies they found in her home. Many see this simply as an excuse to silence her and to prevent her from having a political future in the country. The military has launched airstrikes on rebels near the border with Thailand, causing many to flee the country. And there are now fears of a broader civil war breaking out. There are also genuine concerns over radicalization, including the prospect of religious extremism taking a foothold in parts of the country. And before I let you go, Colm, um, do we know how the church is responding? Well, Tracy, Cardinal Charles Bo, who is the Archbishop of Yangon, the capital of Myanmar, and the president of the Bishop's Conference, he published a letter where he called on people of his country to pray the rosary for peace. And he quoted Pope St. John Paul II, saying, there is no true peace without fairness, truth, justice, and solidarity. Tracy? Okay, Colm, thank you so much. Colm Flynn, EWTN News Rome correspondent. Thanks again, Colm. Thank you, Tracy.